Okay, so now I want to talk about friendship. In your whole life, how many people have you ever recognized as a bosom friend, as a close friend? Please, what's your answer? About ten. Ten? How about Frankie? About five. About five? Okay. So now I want to ask you another question. Among all these people, how many have you ever have haven't heard any news from them for a long time? Okay, if there are some people you haven't heard any news from them, then I will ask you another question. Have you ever tried to get connected with them? Well, some people may say it's no need to get connected with those we have already familiar with. Because although we haven't met each other for a long time, our friendship couldn't be break, broken into pieces. But I don't think it's true. Let me tell you a story. When I was in elementary school, I have a very close friend. It seems that everything between us has already arranged by the God. Yes, because there are a lot of similarity between us. We have the same type of personality. We share the same interest. Both of us like music. And the most important thing is that we have the same birthday. Yeah. And at that time, I was so naive, thinking that there is nothing could break our relationship, and there is nothing could separate us. But at the end, we finally separate because we went to different junior high schools. During the three years of junior high school life, we pursued our own different dreams. We made our own different new friends. But we, forget, we forgot to keep in touch with each other. We forgot to even make a phone call to each other. But just like what I said, it seems that God has already arranged everything for us. When we graduated from junior high school, I realized that we, both of us, have gotten into the same senior high school. And what made me more surprised is that both of us are arranged to the same class, so we're classmates again. I always remember the day when I stepped into my classroom, how nervous and how excited I was. I found my friend very quickly, and I chose a seat next to him. When he saw me, he gave me a big smile, and I greeted to him. And then, it came a very long period of silence between us. Both of us wanted to chat with each other but we don't know where to start our conversation. And finally, we gave up the chance to talk with each other. We just take out our cell phone and play our cell phone games. At that time, I realized that time has driven us apart. And maybe we, will, we wouldn't be good friends forever. What we can do is just to take a look back on those good old days that we created together. We often forget the friend, the old friend we made, but we always want to make new friends in different places, in different fields. We always, we sometimes forget to keep in touch with our old friend. But sometimes we can see some people are crazy at making a lot of friends, adding a lot of friends in Facebook, in Twitter, or something like that. It's quite hilarious. Okay, so now I, I, I don't say that I disagree with making new friends. I think making new friends is a good thing, but if we forget to maintain the good relationship that we have already have, then at the end of our life, maybe 
we will find there is no bosom friend to us. Fellow Toastmasters, try to send a piece of message to those you have forgotten for a very long period of time. Try to express your feeling of how you miss them. Try to tell them you still exist in this world. Because even if your relationship between you and your old friend is as strong as a concrete, if you don't take good care of it, someday the concrete will break into pieces. Back to TME.